what I guess what what's what is the effect of Senate Enrolled Act 118 on re redevelopment finances? The, the Senate bill that was passed um, by the legislature, FDA 118, requires the city controller in a class two city like Terre Haute to take over the management of the finances of the redevelopment commission. And so what that means is we write all the checks, we manage the accounts, those kinds of things, just like we do for all the other departments in the city. Right. So we're, no, some of them will stay the way they are, but some of them will be merged into our existing account. Okay. Uh, It'll take some time. I mean, it's a process. Now, not, we have not completed the transition. Okay. Well, as far as what um, uh, the Redevelopment Commission stated, they claim today that um, back in May, $600,000 of TIF funds were taken or or redevelopment funds, rather, were taken and used for payroll, which they said is not um, legal, or at least that's how they termed it. Did that happen? That what is that? Definitely what? not true. Um, we, before we took over these funds, we checked with the State Board of Accounts about pooling cash, like we pool cash for everything else. And as we take money and we move money from the redevelopment funds, like we do any other fund, we move them through a cash account, and then we place them in other accounts. And so... Every cent of money that belongs to redevelopment is still available to them, but as part of that cold cash, we use it for a variety of things. And it's not a permanent expenditure. That's the part that they don't understand. This is cold cash, so all of their money is still in the pool, and we will be moving more money over later, but all of their funds are 100% available for them to spend. All I, all I can say is that Last week, we gave them an updated summary of every account they have through Fundware, which we use for every department of the It shows your expenses and your income and how much money is in each one of those 19 accounts. All of the bank accounts are, at, I don't know if they're all in yet. They may be. They, they trickle in, you know, after the first of the month. And they were given today some of those bank accounts, but normally... We don't give copies of bank accounts to any department. They don't need that. They use the reports from Thunderware. The State Board of Accounts uses to manage or to oversee our finance. How they can move. Everything can be moved forward. Every single thing that they've got on their agenda, if they submit a voucher for payment, it will be paid. And we don't have any other department anywhere in the city. We manage all our funds. It's been managed that way for 20 years in the city. And we don't give just any employee. It's direct access to any of our accounts to be able to do anything. We'll provide all the reports we do to them just like we do every other department on a monthly basis or an ad hoc basis. Everybody's been doing this for years. We're just now starting to do it. So if these other cities have been doing it wrong for years and they come out with a different rule, then obviously we'll work with the new rule. But that we got our opinion prior to moving any of these funds and they told us it's fine to do that. I, I don't yeah, know. I don't know how much, um, but we move money over, uh, and we're going to continue to move money over into. We're going to reduce some of those accounts. We don't need 19 accounts for 19 different activities in one department. We've only got 20 bank accounts for the entire city, so we've got to clean that up. Yes, accounts are like a bank account with an account number at the bank, but then funds are the funds that you manage. That's how the state board of accounts looks at our books. It has to be fund-based. So every fund you create, they could have multiple bank accounts to a fund. Or it could just have one, or they could share one. I mean, the fund accounting is how municipal government is run. All right, and, and so, um, as an example, the city of Terre Haute has 80 different funds, and we don't have 80 different bank accounts. We have 20 different bank accounts to manage 80 funds. Yeah. And those have been set up that way since 2005. There's nothing new here. We haven't changed anything. Without knowing how much money are in the funds, they won't be able to bid jobs. What's your response to that? That is totally false. 